YouTube, it's Brandy Brio, and welcome back to my channel. So today, the wig I'm putting on is Adana. So this is the wig. Um, I did a middle part because I ain't did a middle part in a minute. So anyways, I'm talking too long. If you want to hear my thoughts, wait till the end of the video. But if you want to see how I got this installed, keep watching. All right, let's get into it. So I was really happy with my plucking. So I showed y'all the wig on the wig stand. Like it just looks so good. I'm using my Ruby Kisses foundation and some free spray just to do my ball cap method. And then I show in the wig one more time because I was just so proud of it. And then of course I'm putting the same foundation on the actual lace of the wig so it can blend good. And then I'm applying one layer of glue because like I said this lace glue don't play. <laughs> So I'm applying the wig. Make sure you apply the wig when your glue turns clear. And it just look good even on or even without the lace being cut. It looks so good. And then of course I'm taking my comb and you comb in the glue into your lace. Make sure you press it in there. And then same thing, I take my hot comb because it's hot and like it helps melt the glue even better. And so I'm just showing you guys how I cut my lace. I sped it up so it is slower than it really is being shown because you need to really take your time. Um, I use a razor, but I didn't have it. So I use a scissor and I do up and down motion with the lace so I can get that zigzag type of cut. As you can see, I'm going up and down. And yeah, that's how I cut it. Um, another thing is I tie my lace band on my head because I needed it to be super tight when I'm melting it. All right, and then I'm going in with some Ruby Kisses foundation again and just look like it literally blends my lace into my skin really good. I feel like I was just missing some area, so I just had to go and touch it up. And then I take my freeze spray and I'm doing another melt. I'm going to band after this one more time. So I band it twice. And make sure the glue on your, um, when you spray the freeze spray, make sure it's dry before you apply the for um, the band because it'll stick to your band. So make sure the free spray that you apply is dry. So that's me taking off the band. I banded for a good time because I had did my lashes. So it was a good time. And I'm doing a middle part. I always do a side part. So I'm proud of myself. Um, of course, when you are parting your edges, make sure you part in a C shape. It just looks better than going straight across. So that's me like rounding it off. I also plucked the front of my head a little bit more because I wanted it to just look a little bit more natural. And then of course, again, I've taken my finger and I measure exactly where the other side of the um, edges I pulled out are. So I just use the same uh, width so to make sure they're even, okay? And then when I cut my Maybe here is I cut in a downward and an upward motion. And then I'm curling my baby hair with my little flat iron. And this is where <laughs> it got tricky. Um, obviously I don't show, but I was working on these edges for a minute. Like I literally kept going back to them. So this is when I applied the gel. And the gel was just a little too stiff. So I applied some mousse to help it move a little bit more. And yes, I worked on these edges for a minute <laughs> and then I did my sideburns and I'm doing the other side I started with the gel and then of course I went in with the mousse because I needed to move a little bit more while I was pressing my edges down 
it just helps it move more that's why i did it and then i'm taking my hot corn of course you know i hot comb my head like 17 times throughout my <laughs> wig and stuff and then i'm doing my other side burn And again, I'm going back. I'm trying to tell you, all I was messing with these edges for a minute, like a minute. And then I took a little bit of edges out because it was a little too thick looking. I don't like it super thick. So I took some out and then just pressed my hot comb again. And this is me pressing the hot comb all over my head to get everything flat. And then I cut me some layers. I'm doing better at cutting layers, y'all. Like, I'm doing better. I can cut me some layers. Only thing here, I was cutting my layers too long. I should have went shorter. So I cut my layers a second time off camera, like after I curled it, because my curls just were too short or too long, I mean. So I am curling my head. Um, I do barrel curls with a flat iron. Um, basically, I just flip the hair away from my face and then I just do a little curl and I press them down and they, they were coming out cute on this side the other side wasn't as cute but it's okay <laughs> so again I'm curling away from my face and I'm trying to get all the hair out make sure you go through the whole entire thing and I just pull it back let it sit for five or six seconds and yeah they were coming out really cute just make sure you get every strand and then make sure you are literally twisting your hand. Like literally twist it. That's how you get that barrel curl. Twist your wrist. That's what I mean. Like your wrist. I can do an end up curling video if you need me to, so just let me know. Alright, so I curled the other side. Like I said, the curls on the other side wasn't as good as the other side, but it's okay. I ended up fixing those. Um, what's important is the way you brush your hair, like brush your hair in the way your curl falls. So again, I'm just pressing my hair. I'm trying to see what I'm liking about it, what I'm not liking about it. And then I was messing with this for a minute as well too. It just wasn't coming out right. But again, the issue was that my layers weren't layered enough. I had to go and cut some more just so the curls can fall and fit my face more. Um, so I'm going in, I'm curling my, I kept curling this part over and over because I'm like, why is it not falling right? And it's because my layers, they just weren't short enough. So yeah, off camera, I went and cut my layers a little bit shorter. And then I also, the curls just weren't doing what I wanted them to do. So I did my Bantu knots like I do at night just so I can train the curls and just let them like, you know. And they, this is when it started to really fall good. Because I feel like me Bantu knotting it, it just helped train the curls a little bit better. And like it's like, as you can see, look at it, it just starts to fall way better, way better. Oh well, yes, I was getting happy. And I had to do my makeup because I was like, the wig is just not coming out how I wanted to come out. So I was like, let me do my makeup. <laughs> to see, you know, what it really looked like. <laughs> but yeah, this is me. Um, this is when the wig really started to come together. After I added some more layers. And I, like, of course, I bantu knotted up. And I'm starting to do my little humpy hump. You know, I like that. And again, the way you brush your hair matters. You need to brush the way your curl falls. As you can see, just like I do with my flat iron, I brush the same way. So just so you don't mess the curl pattern. And yeah, um, I curled a little bit of the longer ends because they just weren't curling right or they just weren't holding the curl, but it's okay. I just leave like, it's okay, whatever, you know? 
as long as my bangs at the top look good And then I apply mousse several times, of course. You know, I like my head to be as flat as possible. All right, y'all. I'm going to be 100%. I was struggling with this wig. I was struggling. I was struggling. Because, one, I was trying to get in the middle part because I always do side part. So, and, like, basically, I'm trying to get my uh, bangs to be, like, even, basically. You know what I'm saying? So, that was one. Um, Number two, it just seemed like the heat on the hair. Like, it was curling, but it wasn't curling. And it didn't, and like... And sometimes it was straightening, so it was just like I was just like really doing tug of war, tug of war with it. And then I had to cut layers in it twice. Um, I did it once on camera, but I had went in my bathroom so I can get like a full view. <laughs> and I was like, hold on, let me see. Then I was like, um, the edges too was just everything was just. Um, when I first put on my edges, I just pulled out too much. That was my thing. And then I did some plucking, I, um, on the edges and stuff. But I think I just pulled out too much because it just looked super dark and thick. So I had to put some more up. You'll see me like, you know, take away. But it ended up, you know, like I said, I, you know, I got the edges down. They were sticking down, but it took me a minute. I had to apply like the got to be and like my other like holding gels from Queens, Queen holding gel, whatever. I had to apply um, that multiple times for it to finally stick. Also, you know how I like my little humpy, humpy, hump took so long for that to really like I don't know to really sit there and like get it together like it took so long for it to like uh so it took a lot of moves um i even had to do some freeze prep because it just wasn't holding another thing is yeah like when it came to just like really like pressing my hair down i don't know it just wasn't i don't know my only thing is i think i messed it up because i was flat ironing my hair like curling it when it was still on the wig stand and like I, I'm not telling myself I'm never gonna do that again. I'm just, cause I'm just, that's just, I'm not talented in that area just yet to be styling it on the wig and then putting on my head. So that's just, you know, I'm working on it. So I'm gonna, so when I started like actually curling my bangs and stuff in my hair, it looked way better like on my head. So that's my fault. Um, but other than that, the curls are curling finally. <laughs> it is pretty full. I like it. I would give this, ooh. Oh, I don't know. I don't I don't know because I feel like a lot of people love this wig and I feel like I messed it up. Like it was my fault. You know what I'm saying? Cause like I said, I curled my hair um before it got on my head and stuff. Because like when I was plucking it, baby, like listen, like when I was plucking it, it looked good. Like this looks really good. So it plucked really good. Um, I don't know. I just will say the heat thing, it, I would give it a I would give this a seven out of ten. Only because the heat was really weird. It took so long for me to actually like lay the baby hairs. And I feel like that's not my that's not my fault. But I'm so I'm gonna give it a set out of 10. I'm probably gonna install it again. But um, I don't know. I feel like this is equivalent to the Letitia wig. I feel like people like those two wigs or these two wigs. And I feel like Letitia is way better. But I like it though. I like when you when I finally got it together, and then I had to tie it up. Like I had to do my little method, tie it up so and then just let it sit while I did my makeup because I was like, oh my goodness, like it just ugh. So yeah like i said i like it let me show y'all so this is the side i have all the hair to the front so i'm gonna put you to the back see what it look like so this is what the hair to the back <laughs> so yeah like, like i said i like it now especially i had to do my makeup because i was like maybe it's not looking right i need to do my makeup you know what i'm saying like it just wasn't giving what i wanted to give but now i'm happy with it and yeah like i said i'm gonna give it a seven out of ten um that's really all i have to say like it took heat okay but like when i i mean when i kept curling yes i feel like you just really have to make some layers like deeper layers for it to really fit the frame of your face and then the curls will pop so that's one thing i had to really do but i like it i think it's gonna be cute like when i basically roll it up again and yeah i did have a question on my last video i do wear my synthetic wigs to sleep i feel like it's easier for me to maintain when it's on my head and then instead of taking it on and off and then number two i'm gluing my hair down on my my head y'all so i'm gluing y'all see me i'm gluing the wig on my head so i can't just take this off especially with the hair or with the lace glue i have now because baby she don't play this new lace glue i got she do not play so i am gluing this hair down on my head so yes i do fall asleep i just make sure i wrap it up really nice tie it up do my little bantu knots and um put a bonnet on and i promise you it'd be looking good like i don't know it'd be looking good i feel like i take better care of, of my synthetic wigs when it's literally on my head so that's just me but yeah so that's all i have for this hair uh, let me know what you think in the comments below make sure you like comment and subscribe and take 
and stay tuned for more. <laughs> tomorrow, yeah. can't get my feelings hurt today. I won't give a fuck tomorrow. Ain't fucked up by no credit score. I might be rich as fuck tomorrow. Yeah.